Shoot, I messed up a little bit, forgive me. Okay, whatever. Remember me from Coco. Guys, hold on to your butts. This is gonna be brutal. Both emotionally and physically. I also need to, uh, let me specify. This is from the gut-wrenching performance in the middle of the movie, not the soul-shattering performance at the end of the movie. Also not the silly performance from the beginning of the movie. Three times that the song happens in the, uh, in the movie, and we're doing the middle one, guys. When the guy from Mozart in the Jungle sings to his daughter, who then later is an old woman. That's my story. I don't know. Let's, okay. It's just gonna suck. It's gonna suck. It's gonna be miserable. The song is not easy. We're gonna break it down into four four measure hunks and it's gonna be barely doable. We're in drop D tuning. So that means the top string needs to be tuned down to D. Although I'm actually suspicious that there is the slightest possibility that in the actual recording from the movie, I. I think he might tune the string down in the middle of the song at one point. Like, you know, we'll get into it. But first, let me just show you the first four bar hunk, guys. Starts with a C chord. C chord is ring finger on the third fret of the second string from the top, middle finger, second fret, third string from the top, and pointer finger, first fret on the second string from the bottom. Over here, we're not gonna use a pick. We're gonna be using thumb and fingers, guys. Starts off with your thumb playing the second string from the top. And then these three fingers, pointer, middle, and ring, are gonna play the second from the bottom, third from the bottom, and fourth from the bottom right there. You're gonna do that. Just pluck all those three strings at the same time. So we're going thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, like that. You're gonna play the thumb once, fingers seven times. I think of it like this. I think of it in groups of eight. I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One thumb. Seven fingers on the C chord. Guys, practice that with me, kind of slow. One, two, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then immediately the second chord gets tough. So aren't you excited? Put your ring finger on the third fret of the top string. Skip the second string entirely. Second string from the top, I mean. Then your pinky is gonna play third fret, third string from the top. And then your pointer finger needs to mash down on the first fret of the second string from the bottom and the third string from the bottom. It's okay if your pointer finger mashes down on the bottom string as well, but we don't need the bottom string. All right, then your thumb is gonna play the top string once, and then your fingers play those same three strings from, from before seven times. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I have a confession to make. This note right here, this third fret on the top string is not the actual note in, in the movie. They actually play this note. Uh, that, they, they play this note, like the sixth fret. But the problem is there's like no possible, well, I mean, okay. I guess you can do it. Oh, look at, I didn't know I had it in me, guys. I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm confused. I don't understand how they perform this song. It really is a mystery to me. There's live performances, and he doesn't. It's just all. I don't know. I don't want to have a whole thing about it. I'm already on the verge of tears just because I listened to the song like three times right before I started recording. So just, just go with me on this, okay? We're just gonna do this chord. It makes sense. All right, now. Uh, well, let's put the first two chords together. So we've got this C chord, and then we're gonna go, this one's like an F minor, but because we're in drop D, it's all confusing. I, uh, here we go, let's play the first two chords. One, and two, and three, and four, and thumb, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, because the thumb starts it off, you don't have to have the whole chord ready immediately. You can get that first note and then get your fingers into place. Let's play those first two chords one more time. One and two, and here we go. Play with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. I'm forgetting to breathe a lot today. Then we go back to the C and we do the same thing. Just thumb, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But then we go to a different chord, guys. You're gonna have your pointer finger on the first fret of the second string from the top. And then you do unfortunately need to mash down on the bottom five strings. We're doing a bar chord on the first fret, guys, with the pointer finger. Then your ring finger is gonna play three on the third string from the top like that. Notice I'm using my middle finger to help my pointer finger push down because this bar chord kind of sucks. Notice also my thumb is not sticking up over the top. My thumb comes back here so that I can smash together between the neck of the guitar, whatever. I sma I got, I lost all. Then your thumb is gonna play second string from the top. Fingers are gonna play those same three strings, but you're only gonna play them three times. So it's just thumb, fingers, fingers, fingers. And then one more chord to finish up our first four bar section, and then we're a quarter of the way through the song. Middle finger plays second fret on the top string. Pointer finger, plays first fret on the third string from the bottom. Everything else is open. Thumb plays the top string. And then you play those same three strings with your fingers three times. One, two, three. So that last little part was one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Do we dare play the whole first four bar section? It's gonna be C to this crazy chord, back to C. And then we go to this one. And then we go to this one. You've got it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. For all of these chords, I'm getting that first thumb note first. I'm just getting that in place then getting the rest of my fingers settled afterwards. People of the world, friends and relatives, my name is Stuart, welcome to the channel. We have finished the first quarter of the song. Like and subscribe, it gets so much harder after this, you're gonna get so mad at me. The second four bar phrase goes like this, people. It goes. That last chord, I hate that last chord. I just need to practice it more. All right, so this part is hard, but at least it's more fun than the first part because it's not as many bar chords and it's more like cool stuff going on. So you're gonna start off, play the second string from the top, open with your thumb. Then put your ring finger on five of the bottom string, put your middle finger on five of the third string from the bottom. Using a thumb and whatever finger you want, you're gonna pinch together the bottom string and the third string from the bottom. When I say pinch together, you just grab them and you go like that. You're gonna play that twice. Then you're gonna slide your fingers down one fret, so you now your middle finger's on four of the third string from the bottom, get rid of your ring finger entirely and put your pointer finger on the third fret of the bottom string and pinch those two notes together twice. So we went five, five, and we went three, four, three, four. Then you're gonna slide back another two frets and get rid of your pointer finger. So now you have second fret on the third string from the bottom and the bottom string open, plug those two notes together twice. And then to finish up this measure, play the first fret on the second string from the bottom. So that whole part right there just went thumb, pinch, 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 finger on the first fret there. Let's do that together. One, two, here we go. And thumb, pinch, 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 finger. Great. Then. We go back to, the, we've already done this chord once. It's where you bar everything on the first fret or you bar the bottom five strings on the first fret. Ring finger plays three 
on the third string from the top. Remember that one a little bit, kind of, sort of? You're just gonna go thumb on the second from the top and then fingers, fingers, fingers. So there's one, two, three, four. Take this exact same shape, slide it one, two frets over. So now you're on three with your pointer finger and five with your ring finger. Add your pinky to the fifth fret of the second string from the bottom. Do you see what I'm doing here? Now, your thumb plays the second string from the top. These three fingers play the bottom three strings. One, two, three. So that right there was one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Oh shoot, darn it, I messed up! God! So then you're gonna bring your pointer finger all the way up to the eighth fret and bar the eighth fret on the bottom five strings. Guys, a lot of bars in this song, it's just the way it goes. And then with your middle finger, play the ninth fret on the third string from the bottom. Do you see what I'm doing here? I'm barring nine on the third string from the bottom. Your thumb plays the second string from the top. And then you're gonna use two fingers to play the second string from the bottom and the third string from the bottom. So not the bottom string, but the two above that. So that was thumb, fingers, fingers. Just like that. Thumb, fingers, fingers. Then you're gonna slide these fingers over to seven and six. At this point, you don't need to bar anymore. You can go ahead and take your pointer finger and just put it on six of the second to bottom string. So we've got pointer finger on six of the second from the bottom, middle finger on seven of the third string from the bottom. Play those notes twice. So what we just did was we were like this and we went thumb, fingers, fingers, seven and six, seven and six. Then you're just gonna play five on the third string from the bottom with your middle finger and five on the second string from the bottom with your ring finger. Play those twice and then just play third string from the bottom by itself. So this part's tricky, guys. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do that one more time. One, two, here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Then we just play this chord right here. This is a D9 chord. I don't know why I'm telling you the names of like two random chords in this song. Middle finger, fifth fret, second string from the top. Pointer finger, fourth fret, third string from the top. And then your ring finger and pinky are the fifth frets on the second and third string from the bottom. You see that right there, guys? You're just gonna play those four notes together at once. The way I do that, I've got my thumb and my fingers all like grabbing onto the strings and I just kind of, I like, peel my hand away from the strings. My thumb plucks first, and then these fingers are all, have pressure on the strings. See, I'm just, I'm literally just, I'm not plucking each finger individually. I'm just pulling my hand away, and the strings get plucked one after another automatically. Then I hate this next chord. I just hate it. It just, I, I can never get it. So here's what happens. You're gonna move your middle finger up to the fifth fret of the top string. Move your ring finger to the fifth fret of the second string from the top. Move your pinky to the third string from the bottom, and then your pointer finger stays on the same string, but slides one fret over to the third fret, and then you play the top four strings all together. So that's five on top, five on the second string from the top, three on the third string from the top, and then five on the third string from the bottom. Those two chords together go like this. Boom, and then, ah! I did it, perfect. Guys, we're halfway through the song. We have to play through the second four bar section. Are we ready? Very slowly. One, two, and here we go. And thumb. Should have waited one more day before making this video, but I'm too, there's, we're past the point of no return. Just like in Back to the Future part three. We're halfway through the song, but we have two big problems. One is that I've been sitting on my foot bizarrely this whole time to get everything at the proper height. And my foot is like so asleep. It is approaching the point where it's, it's just not gonna be alive anymore, but I can't stop now. And then the other problem is that I say we've learned the first half of the song, but we all know 
that I've said a lot of notes, we haven't actually learned it. Like this is gonna take a it's gonna take a lot of practice. I recommend you just do each four bar section, just spend some time with each four bar section, guys. You've already forgotten everything we've done. At this point, when I say, hey, play along with me, you just go, well, I'm just gonna put my guitar down because I don't remember any of this. So good for you, keep up the good work. The, the, the third, so we are now on section number three, people of the world, friends and relatives. Let's do it. The good news is section number three is almost exactly the same as section number one. So we go to the C chord, remember that one? And you're just gonna go thumb and then fingers seven times. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we go back to this chord. It was just the second chord of the song. Remember it was three and then skip, three and then bar on one. Just watch the first section again. You'll get it and you go thumb, fingers. Uh, Literally exactly the same as the first section. Then you go back to the C chord and do the, the seven things there again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you like how I keep saying do the seven things and then I count to eight? It's because I mean the seven fingers, but plus the thumb. Seven plus one equals eight. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Learn how to count, guys. Seven plus one is eight. Then, okay, so all of that is exactly the same as the first section. Now it changes a little bit. Put your ring finger on the fifth fret of the top string. Put your pinky on the fifth fret of the third string from the top, and then your pointer finger is gonna bar the third fret of the bottom four strings. Three strings! Uh, I use my middle finger to help my pointer finger push down. Thumb plays the top string. Fingers play the second, third, and fourth strings from the bottom three times. One, two, three. Okay, no problem, no problem there. Then, what's gonna happen is you're gonna bar the bottom five strings on the third fret. Put your ring finger on the fifth fret of the third string from the top. Put your pinky on the fifth fret of the second string from the bottom. Thumb plays second string from the top, and then fingers play those same three strings. One, two, three. So that thing there was one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We have finished yet another four bar section. Let's play those four bars together. One, two, here we go. And C, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then on, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, back to C, two, three, four, five, then up to fifth fret, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, Guys, we only have four measures left. Are you excited? I'm so excited. At this point, we need the third fret on the top string. Now, here's what I don't understand. So, this note here, so the third fret, right? And even if we were in, if we were in standard tuning, this would be like the first fret. So it's not an open string, okay? I just need to make that clear. No matter how you shake it or bake it or slice it, any preparation, this is not gonna be an open string. Yeah, when you listen to the recording, he plays that note, and then he goes up to these high notes up here, and this note keeps going. I, I literally, I think then either there's some tuning shenanigans going on, or there might literally, I, what I'm about to say sounds like I'm joking. I am not joking. I think there may be someone in the studio who literally comes over and holds that note while he goes up here, and then they let go of it after that. I, I don't know what else to say. I just don't know what else to say. What I do is this. I just play third fret on the top string, and I just try to gently cut it off. I just go, and then I jump up here. So it's three on the top string, and then we're gonna go up to eight on the bottom string with your pointer finger, and 10 on the second string from the bottom with your ring finger. You're gonna play that twice. Then we're gonna go to seven on the bottom with pointer, eight on the bottom with middle finger. Notice your pointer finger doesn't need to come off the string. You just go, you just slide it back. So we're going boom, 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 boom. And then we're gonna go down to five and six. Play that twice. And then we're gonna go to three and five, but only once. So that was, Third fret on top, then eight, 10, eight, 10, seven, eight, seven, eight, five, six, five, six, three, five. Let's play just that much together. A little bit faster than that. One and two and three and four and 
one and two and two and two. Bah. So nice. This next measure is the hardest measure of the entire song. Point our finger, second fret, top string, ring finger, third fret on the bottom string. Your thumb plays the top string, these three fingers play the bottom three strings. You're gonna play all of those together. I do my little peel my hand off thing, then play the bottom string open, so get rid of your ring finger. And then we got this crazy chord, guys. You're gonna bar the sixth fret. You don't have to get all six strings. We really only need the top four strings, but you might wanna just bar on everything just in case. So pointer fingers barring on six, middle finger plays seven on the second string from the top, and pinky plays nine on the third string from the bottom. See that right there? And you're gonna play the top four strings. So we just did this. It looks impossible. It's honestly not that bad. We go, that open string, when you play that open string on the bottom, that gives you some time to get that next chord ready to go, everybody. Then you're gonna get rid of your pinky with your ring finger, play seven on the third string from the bottom. So that was, and then, okay. Look, guys, I'm sorry. We're almost done. Middle finger plays seven on the top. Ring finger plays seven on second from the top. Pinky plays seven, third from the top. Pointer finger plays five on the third string from the bottom. Play those top four strings. And then with your pointer finger, pluck the seventh fret on the second string from the top. So this part, let's, let, let's go through this very slowly. We had one and uh, two and three and let's do that one more time. Here we go. And one, and two, and three, and, and then we go to this guy. So this chord here, middle finger plays six on the top string. Your pointer finger is gonna bar five on the next three strings. So we've got six, then five, smash that one down. Ring finger plays six on the third string from the top. And you're gonna play the top four strings together. And just be nice and gentle with this one. We just made it through the hardest measure. The hardest measure of the song goes. We would like to be able to do that one fast. Oh, great. You're like, thanks. That helps so much. Well, I'll just do it fast then. Okay, time for the big finish. Top string open. You can play it hard. That's where the low D comes in. The whole reason we're in drop D is for that one note. So that's why I, that, I think in the recording there might be some tune, there might, mm, I don't know. So we play that note and then here's what I need you to do. I need you to get your hand in this position right here. Your ring finger is on six of the third string from the top. Middle finger's on five of the third string from the bottom. Pointer finger's pushing on four of the bottom two strings. You just play the top string open. Then you're gonna pinch together the middle two strings together twice. So top string, middle two, middle two. Keep your hand in this position. Go down to the next two strings, the second from the bottom and the third from the bottom. Play that twice. Then go down to the bottom two strings and play those twice. So that was top, middle, middle, blah, 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 blah. Great. Then up to here, so that's eight on the bottom with pointer finger, nine on the second string from the bottom with your middle finger. With those, you kinda wanna, do you know what a flam is? Do you guys know what a flam is? A flam is when you play two notes and they're like at the same time, but they're not at the exact same time. Like if you go like, here, it wasn't like boom, same time. It was like pretty much at the same time. We wanna do that here. I'm going thumb finger, a little flam. Not talking about the dessert, Flan, I'm talking about a flam on, in music. After that, you're just gonna play 10th fret on the bottom string. It's the climax of the entire song right there. So that was. If you wanna get fancy, you do this. It doesn't make any difference with the sound. That's not true. It does, but not very much. Mostly it just looks kinda cool to do. That's not true at all. Don't tell anybody I told you that. Okay. 
Then we do this thing. This is the part I totally botched when I played through it at the beginning. We want the fifth fret on the top string. You could just play it like a normal human being, but it's pretty fun to go like this. You just do a hammer on, you just hit it and keep the pressure with your finger on that note. That way, when you're up here, I don't know. It doesn't really serve any purpose. It's just fun to do. Okay, great. Okay. Then check this out. Ring finger, five on the top string. Point a middle finger, four on the second string from the top. Pointer finger, third fret, third string from the top. And pinkies on the fifth fret of the third string from the bottom. Play those top four strings together. Then we're gonna go to my least favorite chord. Do you remember that one that I had a heart attack about before? But this time it's easier to get to. Look, 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 look. All you have to do, we're here. We're on five, four, three, and five. Keep your pinky and your ring finger in the exact same, that's a lie. Keep your pinky and your pointer finger in the same spot, but take your middle finger, finger, bring it up to the fifth fret on the top string, put your ring finger on the fifth fret of the second string for the top. Play the top four strings. Ring finger, three on the second string from the top. Pinky three on the third from the top. Pointer finger plays one on the next two strings. I'm barring with pointer finger. Play the middle four strings. No, I need my middle finger to help. I'm not strong enough. And then finally, we play a C chord. So that last part was Let's play the whole last four bar phrase. One and two, and I know you're not gonna play it. And here we go. Should we play through the whole thing? Let's play through the whole thing. I don't want to. Remember me Though I have to say goodbye Remember me Don't let it make you cry And even when I'm far away I hold you in my arms I sing a secret song Remember me Though I have to travel far Remember me Each time you hear a sad guitar And if I'm glad or not Then it way that I could sh be See, it got too real at the end, and then I had to go over the top ridiculous. You're all fired. Mm -hmm.